Hello, all you wonderful people. It's time for the Squeaks to Catch show. All aboard. Here we go. Let's start the show. Hosted by Squeaks the Cat. Nintendo video games are no longer where it's at. News and review some gameplay too. Hating Nintendo is what I do. S Q U E A K S. Just to show up. Squeaks the Cat. It's the show up. Squeaks the Cat. People. <laughs> hey bitches, it's me, Squeaks the Cat. I'm back up in this motherfucker. How y'all doing? <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like Capcom is at it again with their bullshit. Mm-hmm. Recently, uh, some Capcom employee was talking to somebody. I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention, but they were talking to somebody, and they were talking about how uh, Nintendo came to them to get the Street Fighter game uh, during the launch of the uh, Nintendo Switch. And, uh, you know, Nintendo came to them specifically because, you know, the anniversary was coming up for Street Fighter, and Nintendo wanted a Street Fighter game on Switch. They was telling them, telling people to go talk to Nintendo if you want more Street Fighter games on the Switch. And I'm like, what kind of dumb shit is that? You as a company, bitch. You make your own games. You don't have to beg us to beg Nintendo to beg you to make a game. What kind of dumb shit is that? I'm Squeaks to it. These motherfuckers clearly done lost their goddamn minds. I mean, they already been trying some bullshit with Nintendo Switch owners from the beginning. Putting out games on the Switch and not putting the whole damn game on the cart. Having you download shit. from I'm talking about old games. Games that should have no problem fitting on the cart. Like, you know, a Mega Man collections and uh, even some of the Resident Evil stuff. This is some crazy bullshit going on. Only when it comes to Nintendo wants to pull this shit. Now, I understand that the Switch carts are smaller than the Blu-ray. So it's a lot easier just to drop all your games on that and whatnot. And not have to worry about anything like that. And you got the price differences and stuff like that I understand that but the the smaller switch carts are very cheap you know especially at the eight gigs and under that should have no problem putting these old ass games onto a switch cart it doesn't make any damn sense especially when you got these smaller companies and somewhat indie or mid-tier companies putting you know you know one two and three games on one disc or one cartridge it don't make no damn sense Capcom, or Crapcom, or what do you want to call them, really has their head completely up their own ass. I mean, what the hell is going on with these people? It don't make no sense. Nintendo Switch is the most popular, hottest thing out there right now. It's the highest selling console out there right now. So why uh, do we have to ask for games for you to put on this system? This just makes good businesses to already do that on your own. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Now, I was listening to the Juice Lose podcast. I'd heard Big T, you know, he made this kind of uh, analysis or analogy uh, when it came to what Capcom expects us to do as customers. Any smart company that had got any little bit of damn sense in their head would say, hey, well, you look at this device here. This Nintendo, this Nintendo Switch is selling really well. You know, look at, look at all the sales it has. Look at the install base. It's just growing and growing and growing. Now, I'm a, I'm a company that makes software, you know, so why don't, why don't I go to this these Nintendo people and say, hey, you guys are doing really well. We want to put more stuff on your system. That's smart business. You know, why do I have to go to my customers and say, hey, customers, can you go to Nintendo for us and tell us to be able to put some stuff on here? I mean, does that make any goddamn sense to you? It don't make any goddamn sense to me. Capcom is clearly out of its fucking mind. And that's why, until they get their shit together, I will not be buying any of their games. I'm just not going to do it. I'm boycotting them bitches. If Capcom didn't make video games and they only made cat food, the only cat food available, I'd be a starving bitch. As a matter of fact, instead of Capcom making video games, I wish they made kitty litter. I would only buy Capcom kitty litter so I can piss and shit all over them. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Play everything, you silly Nintendo fags.